Alright guys, welcome to the diving area. This is the um, sixth level of the game. And um, yeah, this level's very similar to the offshore rig, except it's. Um, um, as you, if you can see down there, there is a fan. Uh, we do not want to fall in the water right now because that fan will kill us. So, what we want to do is come this way, run, jump, and grab the edge of the ladder. Climb up. Hmm. And we're going to go through this corridor, and then we're going to pull this switch. That switch should stop the fan. And then it'll give us access to uh, that switch down there. Now, um, I could just hit the switch, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go past the rotating fan, no longer rotating, and swim down this corridor. And um, down this corridor, we should get some goodies. Got a little set of grenades. So I'm going to keep swimming through this, and now I'm going to pull that switch. Oh, come on, Laura. Get into position. Alright, so now we want to make sure to get out of the water before Laura loses her air. And then once we get out here, uh, we're going to come across another room. We want to pull out our guns right away because there's going to be some thugs. And then there's going to be a Doberman over here that's going to spawn. We also... Uh, I'm going to get out a better weapon because that guy's pretty tough. I'm going to do a shotgun to deal with the shotgun guy. All right. Um, let's see. So we got a little, uh, pit of water there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go in there. And you see, this takes us out into that bigger pool. But I guess, I guess what would happen is if we ended up falling into the pool, uh, we would take this little passageway to get out and back onto the deck that we were at before. Alright, so you see there's a hook there. Uh, we want to avoid that because it will hurt us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. So that hook, I do not want to be hit by that. I'm going to try to hug the right side. And it looks like that did okay. Now I'm going to time it. Run, jump, press action. Okay, I think as long as I hug the right end, I don't think the uh, hook can hurt me. And I want to get up my shotgun, because um, well, that guy could kill me. Uh, and, uh, well, I forgot about that second one. Alright, so, um, looking down here, I'm going to go ahead and save my game, because this part is very tricky. Um, so, first, there's toxic waste. If I fall in there, it's instant death. I want to jump and make it to that ledge. Uh, but before I do that, um, there's a little hole right here, and that has our first secret, the stone dragon. And, um... What I can try to do, I think this is about right, I want to angle Laura just right, standing jump forward, and she lands in the hole, and she gets her first secret. So, um, now I'm going to go ahead and save again. Oh, 
All right, and we want to angle her just right. We have to time this exactly right, or we won't... Uh... There we go. If we didn't time it exactly right, uh, she would not have made the jump. I'm going to pull out my shotgun, because... Uh... All right, here is what I call the infinite ladder. This ladder goes up a very long ways. If you guys want to fast forward a minute, feel free, because all I'm doing is climbing and listening to that um, mysterious music. Alright, what I'm going to do just for fun, I'm going to save the game. And then I'm going to run off the edge and let Laura fall to her death. And we're dead. Alright guys, we're not going to do that again. Back to the game. Alright, so there's a little hole that we can fall into, but before we do that, we want to grab this set of MP ammo. Uh, this is the level that we get our uh, machine gun, by the way. And that's a pretty uh, intense weapon. So let me look down in this hole. I want to see. Okay, I believe this is the side we want to drop down from. So we want to uh, hang from the ledge, fall... And we do not want to be hit by this guy. This guy is bad news. He gave us some automatics, it looks like. Um, now, when we look, we can see that the blue access card is there. That's what we need to grab. So we can see the, the fence is broken here, so I think this is supposed to uh, position us for the blue access card. So, I can do a running jump, and she'll slide and land on the edge with, with the card. So now, we would go in here, and we should be using the access card pretty soon. I'm go ahead and pull out my shotgun, because um, in these Tomb Raider games, there's always something bad around the corner. Alright. And we're coming up to uh, a ledge in the infinite ladder, so I'm going to go ahead and run, jump, action... We're going to climb the rest of the way up again. And then this time around, we're going to use our blue access card. We're not going to uh, jump to that ledge where we got it. So we want to fall that ledge. We're going to go this way. Um, let me make sure she's facing the right way. Nope. No, we want to face the other way. There we go. And grab onto the ledge. And I believe... That this time we're supposed to go right, and we're going to use it here. We're going to 
open this door. Now, there's going to be a bunch of thugs and Dobermans when we come through here, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Uzis right away. I'm actually going to save my game, because there's some point uh, where I might die. And that guy is a flamethrower. You want to stay back from him. If his flame gets you, uh, you basically you're screwed unless you're right next to water. He will set you on fire, and uh, your health will drain very rapidly, and your only recovery is to get into a pool of water. Alright, so there's one door there. I think there's another one over here. leading us to a stairs. Alright, so we need another switch to get that door open. Okay, so that door I guess we open a little bit later. We're gonna go to the other side. Um, to get where I think we need to be, at least for now. So, this door, um, we're gonna open. And then this is gonna lead us out into a room with a pool. And then a thug spawns behind us. We're gonna go ahead and use our Uzis. Now oh, what a cheapskate, he didn't give us anything. I guess we can't get him from here. Alright, so there's a movable block here. And that gives us access to something there. Alright, so there's a pool here. When we go down into that, I'm gonna go ahead and save my game because there's a frogman. Um, and we're also gonna need um, my harpoon gun, and we're gonna need a lot of air to do this because I remember now, down here, um, there's some switches we need to pull. I'm gonna start by pulling this switch. I'm going to use a small med pack. And then I'm going to go through here. This door. I'm going to take care of the frogman a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to come get this switch. I need to make sure to go fast, because this really requires a whole lot of air. And that lever's going to open that switch. And then we're going to come back out this way. And that door is going to open for us. And we're going to come out to our bigger pool. And get up for air, because she's losing her health now. I'm going to use a small med pack. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the harpoon for you guys. On this guy. I guess he's trapped in there. I'm not going to worry about him now. Alright. Now we're going to come up for air. And then uh, I'm going to go through the door I opened, which is going to be over here. 
Now this is going to be the part of the level where we get our machine guns, so this the machine gunner will make things a lot better. Um, So we're going to spawn a, uh, a couple of thugs. Um, and I believe there's going to be some Dobermans too, so I'm going to pull out my set of automatic pistols. This guy left us a large med pack, and that guy left us some shotgun shells. And the other guy was a cheapskate. Or nope, no, he wasn't. He he gave us some automatic ammo. All right, so uh, there's a little puzzle we have to do here. I think this is timed, so I'm gonna save the game. Um. I'm going to push this switch. So that one cut off the second flame. And then this switch is going to cut off the first flame. But the second flame went back on. This is where we get our M gun. Let me see if I can get around it. There we go. Alright, so I think what we want to do first is press this switch here. That'll cut off the first burner. Then we're going to go press this other one and cut off burner number two. Then we're going to go through here, jump over that, and grab this uh, access card roll. Run. And let's see. Yeah, they're both back on, but we got what we need. And I'm going to save the game because I am not doing that again. Alright, so I'm gonna open this door. I'm actually gonna save my game because this next room is very dangerous. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip my M gun, which is uh, our newest weapon because I want to make use of it. I'm gonna back up a little. I'm gonna back up a little bit because if I'm within his range of fire, well, and he shoots me with the flame. Uh, I'm pretty much screwed unless I am like literally right next to water or have a whole lot of med packs. So that's not something we want. Um, uh, our second secret, the Jade Dragon, is down under that. Uh, so what we want to do to get to that, uh, I believe if we come over here, this door is going to open and then there's a hidden switch that we want to activate. And then... Uh, 
it's going to open up that hatch in the bottom of this pool, which we're going to uh, swim down to to get our second secret, the Jade Dragon. Um, I'm going to come back up here and get these harpoon clips. Alright, to swim through this next passageway, we're going to have to hold our breath a little while. Right, and there's going to be more frogmen over here, so I'm going to pull out my harpoon gun. I guess I'm out of harpoon ammo, so uh, what I'm going to want to do is find a ledge where I can surface. Then I'm going to use my standard set of pistols to take care of this guy. There's a couple of thugs over here, but uh, since they're not armed, if you're standing on this location, Laura won't be accessible, but you can still uh, try to get rid of them so they won't be a problem later. Yep, took care of them both. Um, this is one hell of a deep swimming pool. I'm going to save again. Alright, so behind me, uh, there's this ledge that I can come up to. There's going to be another switch. And then I opened up that door in, in the room with a smaller pool. There's going to be another frogman here, but I'm uh, not going to mess with him right now. So I'm going to keep swimming. Climb out right here. Go back to the room with the smaller pool. Now, since that door is open... Uh, there were a couple of goons in that room, so since they'd now be unleashed, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my M-Gun. The M-Gun is quite powerful, but the downside to this weapon is that uh, Laura cannot jump or flip when she uses it. She'll be pinned down, because I guess the weight of the M-Gun is quite heavy. Um, once we get into this control room, there's another switch. Uh, that's going to move the crane over a little bit to where it'll be at a place where we can jump to it. Um, and sure enough, we spawned another guy when we did that. Take him out. Let's see if he left us any... Oh yeah, he left us a small med pack. Uh, so we're going to pick this up. Um... And then I'm going to uh, come over here and jump to this crane. I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Alright, so now this crane is in an accessible location, so I'm going to pull myself up. And then I'm going to run. Now that... There's the red access card, but it's not in an accessible location yet, so... Uh, what I'm going to do is jump over this set of boxes. Um, there's a switch here. That switch is going to drain the water out of the room above. We, we can see there's a thug with a Doberman, so uh, I'm gonna um, climb out, jump, And what I'm gonna do is um, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do my Uzis this time. They're they're a lot more flexible than the M, M gun. And I'm gonna kill this shotgun guy. 
and then pick up his shotgun shells. Now I'm going to go through here, I'm going to save my game because there's going to be some Dobermans and uh, some thug. So I'm going to save. Alright, so I want to pull out my Uzis because there's probably going to be a Doberman right around this corner. And there's going to be another one. He should show up right as I turn this corner. Most likely, or certainly the next one. And then when I come around here, yep, there's going to be another guy with a gun. So, and he's going to leave me some Uzi ammo. Alright, so this pool that was filled up with water before, uh, it's now empty. So what I can do, uh, hang from the edge, I've got access to this, uh, and there's this passageway. I guess it uh, opened up. So... I want to drop down. Um, I'm going to save my game. Alright, so when I drop down here, I want to equip the Uzis. There's going to be one guy with a, like a baton, and then there's going to be a flamethrower guy, and you want to stay, keep your distance from him, because uh, if he gets you with the flame, uh, you're almost certainly dead. So, uh, we get our second access card, or whatever that thing is. Um, wonder which way leads out. Oh, this is where we use the red access card. But uh, we don't have it yet, so she's going to deny that. Uh, let's see. If that way goes out. Alright. So, now... We're going to want to jump over this. Pull up. Funny how these levels really give you the runaround. Uh, when I use the activation card, that should shut off that saw. And then we're going to be able to get the red access card. Once we pick this up, I think we know exactly where to go. come back through here. I'm going to save the game because I don't want to have to do that runaround again. And we're going to use our red access card right here. Looks like there's some dude down there. Alright, so now we're back in, in this room. This is with the really deep swimming pool. Uh, these are these guys that we previously killed from an inaccessible point. This guy looks like left us a small med... or a large med pack, and this guy left us a small med pack. Um, uh, I forgot about that frogman. Alright, so I'm going to come down here. Um, hang from this ledge, drop down, walk this way. Alright, so now we're in the final part of the level. So it looks like we're listening to a monk being interrogated. I'd rather not mess with that too much. So the, I believe these are the last two guys. Um, um, Alright, you can see there's an injured monk he, there. 
Uh, we're, we are not going to go near him now because that's going to end the level. And there's one more thing we have to do first. Uh, we need to get our final secret. Which is going to be in that room. So what I'm going to want to do is hug this wall. If I go too far to the right, it's going to end the level. So I'm going to come in through here. And, uh, yep, here's our uh, golden dragon. So uh, once we pick this up, it looks like we get a bunch of Uzi ammo. And then after that, we're going to come out, run to the monk, and this should be the end of the level. Oh, you are not one of them. But you are a monk. Brother Chen Barkang, you have come for me. I saw bright lights around me. That was gunfire. I think it was them who got taken away by it. But you are my guide, my path beater to a next incarnation. I have done my time here, haven't I? What are you doing here? Mark Nothing. I, I led righteous life. Here, for reasons rooted only in necessary evil. As my father was before me when he bombed Gianni's vessel deep into these waters. Now I'm here, uh, was here, to prevent his son from salvaging the Seraph. The Seraph? You not know my life's work well. You sure you're not here for them? Their Jackanory days are well over. They want the Seraph to unlock a malignant treasure we contain in our monastery in Tibet. Since being stolen by imbecile vagabonds centuries ago, we've been without key to it, relying solely on cleansing of our prayers to keep it subdued. Then the occultist Gianni B acquired it. Trouble we knew. He breathed life back into ancient belief, one not to be stopped by any amount of head bowing. And now again, it is here, Marco, infected with madness. He has violent mind, but not yet the power to satiate it. So, we reach for our weapons once more. The true detox of evil. Where can you be taking me? Oh, there's so Marco Bartoli. There's Marco Bartoli. This changes our Buddha's rest. Oh, I need one. <clears throat> Looks like we gotta catch that submarine before it takes off. 